Leo. Hey, everybody. Hey, friends. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone is doing well and staying warm. It's a bit chilly here in the southern coastal Mississippi area. Um, chilly for me. <laughs> so, yeah, just trying to stay warm. Um, I want to talk to you a few things, talk to you or show you a few things that I have been working on. And I'm so excited. If you watched my Instagram, you've probably seen a few things um, where I posted pictures. And so, yeah, so today is Monday. So I do, did not have work today and I had a chance to sit down and chat with y'all. <laughs> so once again, I appreciate you being here. My name is Marcia with Mimi Makes Keepsakes and happy that you're here. Um, thank you for everyone that has liked and subscribed and sent me sweet messages and had the opportunity to correspond back and forth with you. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. So I wanna talk about my shirt. Let me stand up and see my shirt. So every year it says, it says shine bright. So every year around Christmas, I try to get a Christmas t-shirt. So hopefully I will have enough to wear with each video leading up to Christmas. I should have them. Some I think I've given away because um, you know how you go through your clothes ever so often. Um, this one is a little big. I was a little bit bigger last year, but I always like things big and cozy. But about my shirt, show you one more time so it says shine bright and i ordered this from grace from candily kind i also ordered one that's going to for this year so she designs her own her own shirts and i'm going to pull up her site right quick and share this with you so it's with candily kind um, and Grace, she's 25 years old, and she's the co-founder of Candily Kind since 2018. Um, her and her mom, Carrie. So what she does, she designs t-shirts. She's an artist and an entrepreneur. She says Grace was born with Down syndrome, but we prefer to call it Up syndrome. She aims to promote kindness and a belief in oneself no matter what the obstacles and hope her artistic creations will remind you to live with authentic authenticity act with love and treat everyone you meet with an open heart how sweet is that and if you follow her on instagram she is a fun girl um so it's candidly kind nonprofit candidly has supported since beginning of march 2018, Ruby's Rainbow, Best Buddies, International. So there's just a list of organizations that she promotes and helps sponsor through her business. So go check her out at candlelykind.com. I'll leave the link below and get you a shirt for Christmas. Get you a couple for gifts. So right now it is Monday, so she does have a Cyber Monday sale going on. But I wanna show you the shirt that I ordered for this year. I think they will get ready to mail out in, in December, which is right around the corner. So this is the one I got. It says, Holly Jolly and Kind. So that's the shirt I got for this year. Can't wait to wear it. Anyway, so that's my shirt that I am wearing today. And I will, each video that I do through the month of December, I will try to wear one of my Christmas shirts. Not all were purchased through Candily, Candily Kind. I just found her last year on Instagram, but I'll leave her links below and you can go check her out. So, Crovember. <laughs> so, my friend Pamela at the Ginger Cat Crochet, she started. Hashtag Crovember and crocheting nothing in November, but some type of Christmas item or Christmas gift. Um, I showed you my Lenny cat in my last video and he's all snuggled up and ready for Christmas or the cold weather. And like I said, this was part of a free download pattern. 
from Jan Schenkel is the designer. She designs Friends of Pika Pal, the book one, two, and three. She paired up with Hobie to offer several free patterns. And I do have video on that. If I remember, I'll leave the link down below. But part of that gang was Oliver the Frog. <laughs> Isn't he adorable, you guys? Oh my goodness. So when I first saw on Instagram that Jan Schenkel had partnered with Hobie to offer free patterns. I went and downloaded them. And like I said in my last video, I saw where Cassandra from Craftably Ever After made Lenny the cat. I'm like, okay, so that gave me a push. That's what I wanted to start on first. But then this little guy has just like, makes my heart happy. He stole my heart. He is so cute. And his name is Oliver. And if you watched my last video, I told you my situation, my conundrum, that when I started doing the eyes, I got about halfway down. I put the eyes in. And when I put the eyes in, I realized my color change was going to be in the front because that's where my stitch marker was. That was where my last stitch was. And my color change was going to be in the front. So the question that I threw out to everyone is like, do I frog it or do I continue on? And you know, even if you do five, six, seven, eight stitches, you really, I don't want to have to go back and redo it. So someone had reached out to me very kindly and it's like, hey, you can put buttons and make it a little cardigan. And I'm like, that's a great idea too. But I took a bit of inspiration from my yarny friend, Cassandra from Craftably Ever After and used a little stick pin, and it's a B stick pin. <laughs> and um, I thought it fit him perfect, so it helped hide those color changes, and I'll show those to you in a minute. But he's a little dumpy fellow. He, like I said, he enjoyed his Thanksgiving feast, and his little bridges don't cover his belly quite right, and his shorts, Shirt's a little short. You can see my color change there. And I got a color change up there. But we're just going to cover it up. So, and I made this scarf as the pattern recommend, recommended. I was hoping he would have more scarf length to kind of wrap around and tie. But he did not. Like I said, he ended up being a dumpy little fellow. <laughs> He's so cute and chunky. I love it. Look at that. He's adorable. So like I said, I just took inspiration from Cassandra from Craftably Ever After and used a stick pin to hold his scarf in place and to kind of hide that little oops, <laughs> oopsie daisy um, on his little shirt. So note to self, um, when I do the frog, check and see where my ending stitch is going to be and place the eyes on the opposite side. This was made with a mixture of Sheepy's Katona and Paint Box Cotton DK 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. I believe all of this is cotton box except for the light colored in his shirt and that's Sheepy's Katona and it seems to pair well with Paint Box. Um, I bought Sheepy's Katona for a project that I did not finish. I talked about that in one of my videos and I bought some paint box yarn uh, to do a project. Not sure if I did that project, so I just combined what I had, and I thought he turned out adorable. Um, so yeah, he turned out super, super cute. The the um, trees, she has a pattern. On the pattern, it shows you where you can do color change to make the tree designs. And I did that on the Rhino. I made the Rhino and Friends of Pika Pal. I'll try to post a picture of that. Um, I think it was last year I made the Rhino for my grandson for Christmas. And it had the little kind of like trees, almost like a Hawaiian type shirt. But with Oliver, I just went in and cross stitch or tried to cross stitch the trees. It's not the best, but it's what I did. I mean, I don't plan on gifting this. So, and then I went in and did some cross stitch for the little pink that it shows on the pattern. Um, I can go back later and do some on the back. Oh, don't look at this. This is a mess. <laughs> 
but like I said, I'm not gifting him. I'm sure my grands will enjoy hanging out with him when they come over. And one day, like I said, my grandkids, great grandkids, hopefully they'll appreciate these sweet little, cute little creatures and have something from me, me. Y'all, time goes by fast, so fast. But So this is my Oliver the Frog um, from Jan Shankel. Animal Friends of Pika Pal that paired up with Hobie, and it is a free pattern online. And I, in my last video, I showed you all the different patterns, so I will not go through that again. But he turned out cute. I know I have been working on Lovey's blanket yarn using blanket yarn. Um, my last video, I've been making beanies. Got my beanie on because my head is cold. It is cold. My hands are cold. So I've been making beanies, but then it's like, I just want to stop and I just want to make something that's the texture's different. And I just, I just wanted to make an Oliver. And now I like, I want to make a cat. No, I already made the cat. I think I would want to make, um, is it Madeline? Madeline, Madeline, the dog next. But so I made Oliver, the cat. I made a list, you guys. So I talked about my shirt, check. Oliver, check. Um, my beanies. Why do I want to talk about my beanies? I don't know. I talked about those in the last video. But something else that I made yesterday and worked on today. <laughs> Y'all, this is so cute. How about a positive pickle? Yeah, everybody needs one of these pickles in their life. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? So this is a pattern from Naughty Boss. And, okay, so beanies. I made beanies. I wanted labels for my beanies to put, you know, handmade, what they're made with, um, the care instructions. And then I saw, so Naughty Boss is great for labels. I use Naughty Boss all the time for labels for my lovies, my blankets. Um, it's just, just a great way to package things if you want to give them as gifts or sell them. But then she had a positive pickle pattern, the crochet pattern, and the cute little um, packaging that goes with it. Look at this one, you guys. <laughs> Look how cute. And he's holding a sign that says, you're a big deal. That is so cute. And then there's other, there's like three different designs. You're a big deal. Um, Everything's going to be just brine. And what was the other one? I don't remember, but I thought they turned out so cute. So these are great, cute little gift ideas. Um, I don't know. And I did sign up for another market, December the 17th. It's a um, last minute market before Christmas. So just making up some fun stuff for that. My husband's going to set up a side table with all his laser and woodwork personalized items. And I will also have part of the tent with a lot of my crochet amigurumi plushies. Now I don't think I'm gonna like try and work out a lot of lovies. I'm just gonna sell some small stuff, um, but we'll see, you never know. I get on a lovey kick and I'll start making them. But I've been making pickles positive pickles. So this is adorable. Let me read you. So I made them out of the dark green. This is Premier Parfait Chunky 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. And his, looking at this, his eyes looks wonky. I don't know, but he's just cute. And then I made this one out of the Parfait Chunky yarn. I believe it's the pom-pom yarn. And then this is just the regular Parfait Chunky green color yarn 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and uh my daughter's like i don't like the light green one i like the darker ones better it looks more realistic <laughs> it's a pickle it's a crochet pickle i did do some pickles i thought they were cute i don't know they're just so cute a positive pickle so let me read you what it says on the card and it's on the back of this little label too it says Whenever you feel sour, I'll help you deal with it. Remember, the door to happiness is always ajar. So relish every moment because in the end, everything will be just brine. <laughs> it's 
he's so cute, you guys. So go get you a positive pickle and just make your day. I thought he was so cute. But I think that is it. <laughs> I think that is it um, that I wanted to share with you. It's kind of short and sweet. Well, just kind of a short video. I'm not sure how sweet it was. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you for a little bit and say hello. This is what I've been working on and share with you the olive. I just wanted to share Oliver the frog with you. He turned out so, so cute. And I, like I said, he's got his mistakes, but he's for me and my household and just to be cute. Not sure where I'm going to put him as part of the Christmas decorations. Um, I like to put him and Lenny. Oh, and I have, I don't know, a while back I did a video of Lyle the crocodile and he has his scarf on. Kind of looking Christmassy, kind of holiday festive in his little scarf. So these all pair up really easy. Um, they're closer to the same size. So I might incorporate these in the decorations somehow. We shall see. All right, y'all, I appreciate you hanging out with me for a minute or two. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and take care. And all right, have the best day, you guys. Bye.